Hi guys, welcome to my second video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the dresses that you kind of see. And there's gonna be two different kinds of dresses, a school dress and a solo dress. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys is the school dress. So this is traditionally, and it's super small because this is one of my very first ones. So this is a school dress, not the prettiest, most bedazzled thing you'll see, but each school that you'll see that is an Irish dance school, they have their own design. So this kind of shows like this is my school, kind of like um, each of your elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, each of them have a mascot. This is kind of like our mascot, but in a Celtic design. So you got like the Celtic design and then you have this little cape in the back too. So this little cape is just a traditional part of the costume. When you look back and when Irish dancing first came about, they'd always have this nice little cape on there as well. So Sometimes it'd be located in the front, but now they're kind of located in the back. So this is actually one of my old schools that is not an Irish dance school anymore. And it was um, the Brian O'Brien School of Dance. So that's why there's a big B on the back. But so this is what you usually wear when you're younger, when you're, as you can see, younger, <laughs> um, when you're first starting out in Irish dance. So there's actually stages you go through in Irish dance. So kind of like the Super Bowl or playing football. You start off in JV or modified, JV, varsity, college. You go up in levels. That's the same thing with Irish dance. So in Irish dance, what they have is you start in beginner, then advanced beginner, then novice, then opens, then preliminary champions, then champions. So I only got to about opens. My sister got to preliminary champions. So before I kind of quit. And usually when you're in novice to opens, that's when you start getting a solo dress. So let me show you the solo dress. This is the one you're going to traditionally see on Irish dancers that are kind of showing you um, a performance because these are the prettier dresses. So this is called a solo dress. So this is mine. As you can see, it kind of goes with the crown. Um, and it's kind of old. <laughs> they have a lot prettier ones now as the styles are getting different. Um, so it has that cape in the back as you could still see, which is really nice um, underneath it. And some of them still have that Celtic design. This one kind of does a little bit, not really too much. Um, and underneath, it actually has like a pattern, which is kind of cool. And you have these little guys called bloomers. So they're kind of like underwear. Um, so you wear these underneath and then they match your, your kind of under your dress, which is nice. So each dress has that. And then this, so that one was mine. And then this one is my sister's. Um, this one she created herself. She designed it, which was really cool. And someone made it. So... Usually, this is always the best part. Usually, these dresses go about four thousand to eight thousand dollars, so they're very expensive. <laughs> they are very, very expensive. So, Irish dancing is not the most cheapest hobby to have, but it's very cool to do. Um, they also have this little kind of thing down in the corner here, it's like a little clip. So, this is where my sister would have her card. So, like if you ever see um, runners running a marathon, they have a card with their number on it. That's what we wear when we are competing so that the judges can write our numbers down and they can write what our score was. So those are the two dresses. Well, three dresses. Um, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the shoes and a little bit about the music because it kind of, they go hand in hand. So after that, I'm going to actually put a dress on and I'm actually going to do a performance in one of the shoes in both of the shoes and I'm going to then teach you how to Irish dance. So stay tuned.